Fruit, the delicious, nutritious, and sometimes suspicious treat that naturally occurs in nature. It's also something that only one in 10 Americans actually get enough of in their diet. God said, let there be light. And then his tummy grumbled and he said, let there be fruit. For millions and millions of years, fruit has continued to evolve to be as tasty as it absolutely can be to as many animals as possible, humans included. My dad's 84 years old. That's not a joke, I'm serious. And it means that he was born in black and white before the invention of color. But what it also means is he's a meat and potatoes guy. Back in the day, straight men were more likely to eat a cigarette than a raspberry. Now I like to think of myself as a new school guy and I appreciate mother nature's sweet nectar. But not all fruits are created equal. So how do you know who's hot and who's not? Well, I'm here to tell you. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Dave Ranks Fruit. First off, we got apples, the most basic fruit. If you think of fruit, there's a good chance you visualized an apple immediately. The largest tech company in the world chose an apple for their name and logo. And the darn thing was so appealing they took a bite out of it before it even launched. As we all know, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And much like how vampires can be warded off using garlic, a doctor is physically incapable of entering the same room as an apple. Keep that one in mind the next time you're trying to dodge your booster shots. Now, I love apples. An apple with peanut butter is one of my favorite snacks in the entire world. But if I'm being honest, there are only really a handful of apples that don't suck. Red Delicious aren't delicious, they're just very red. And Golden Delicious aren't golden or delicious, and tend to be used only in salads where everything inside tastes worse than it by comparison. There's also the saying, he's a bad apple, which when paired with a very true fact that 60 apple seeds contain enough cyanide to kill a small child, means that in good conscience, I cannot give this any higher than a B. Oranges, the dominant fruit of the Eastern world. You've likely been to a Chinese restaurant where they brought out oranges as dessert after having a much sweeter fried chicken. As a kid, I hated oranges, but my diet consisted of primarily gogurt and cheese sticks. So who the hell cares what that guy thinks? I've since learned to love orange juice and a name doesn't get much more fitting than an orange being called an orange. What came first, the color of the fruit? Science may never know. C, for citrus and the fact that that's the only vitamin the fruit provides for you. Bananas. Bananas are apparently the world's most popular fruit. And I'm here to tell you, everyone is wrong. I fucking hate them. They suck. I'm mildly allergic, so they make my throat itchy, but even if I wasn't, it wouldn't change a thing. They're too mushy, and when you leave them out, they turn into a black sludge. You gotta be careful how you eat them if you don't want your friends to make fun of you, and much like their shape, I gotta give them a D. Additional banana fun fact. Most bananas are just clones of each other. Every banana you buy is genetically identical to the one next to it. Part of the single largest collective organism on Earth. I still hate them though. Strawberries. Strawberries are the first fruit on this list touted as a super fruit. Being high in fiber and antioxidants, they're tremendous for your health, and in my opinion, they're essentially an unhateable fruit. Great ingredients for smoothies, good topping for dessert, solid fruit all around, well deserving of its popularity. B. Melons. Used as a crude euphemism for boobs, Melons, especially honeydew, are known for their ridiculous sweetness. You have to imagine the first people who split one of these suckers open and added taste must have been mind blown. They're really a degree of size and sweetness seen nowhere else in nature. Even so, their taste is so incredibly one dimensional, I often find my fork subconsciously avoiding them in any fruit salad that I eat. I think they're deserving of a large, but ultimately low hanging double D. Cantaloupe, it's exactly the same fruit, but orange, C. Watermelon, oh mama, stop the list right here. There is not a more perfect fruit in this world than watermelon. My only negative memory involving watermelon was when I was five and my uncle told me that a watermelon would grow inside me because I swallowed the seeds and I believed him. Where an apple might feed one person for a snack, a watermelon feeds one family for a week. They're so refreshing. You picking up what I'm putting down? I'm trying to be persuasive here. They have a subtleness to their sweet that most melons lack, and they've got such a unique and satisfying mouthfeel. Each bite is like crisply crunching the water out of a juicy sugar cube. It's always gonna be my number one, the best fruit, S baby. Moving on, we have another childhood favorite, blackberries. Growing up, I remember picking blackberries along the trail with my mom and brother. But I also remember my entire family fighting for our lives against a blackberry infestation in our backyard. This plant will not die. You can cut every single bit of it into tiny pieces, run over it with a truck, set the whole thing on fire, burn it to oblivion, and you'll have blackberries again next summer. And the thorns. All oh, the thorns. They stab you for even trying to pick the fruit. Fruit that is supposed to be eaten so that the species can live on. The plant is so good at surviving, it says, F it, I don't need your help reproducing. I'll do it myself. Plant hater decide, it's tasty, it's a good berry. But even when they're visually ripe, the berries have such an enormous taste range, all the way from bitter, tart, disgusting, to surprisingly sweet perfection. I can't in good conscience give this thing any higher than a C. 
Blueberries. Where blackberries are the edgy punk, blueberries are the cool, chill guy that doesn't bother anyone. They're no one's best in class, and they don't taste outstanding, but they've got a satisfying pop, plenty of great smoothie application. Blueberries get a B for blueberry. Raspberries. They're good, I like them, but they're not much to talk about. C. Cherries. Cherries are good. They're one of the most satisfying fruits to binge in my opinion. They do make my tummy hurt, but that's neither here nor there. They're a tasty snack. They become a dessert topping in the form of maraschino cherries, which are actually kind of gross when you think about it. The brine they're soaked in bleaches them, so they have to be dyed red again. I checked the definition, and since 1940, maraschino cherries have been defined as cherries, which have been dyed red, impregnated with sugar, and packed in a sugar syrup flavored with oil of butter almonds or a similar flavor. So yuck but also yum. C. Plums! My wife broke a window with a plum when she was younger. And not only do they make good projectiles, they also taste pretty good too. They're also the world's largest purple fruit. I didn't verify that, so don't look it up. B. Grapes! A much smaller, but also sometimes purple fruit. What grapes lack in size, they make up for in quantity and variety, many of which are used to make wines. By fermenting the grapes, humans have learned that you can turn them into a drug. A drug you can drink. You've got the Muscat, the Cabernet Sauvignon, the Sauvignon Blanc, the Pinot Noir. Riesling. There are witch finger grapes, which are just a gross thing. Unless you're into witches, in which case we've got a grape for you. They've got raisins, which in my opinion should never have been invented. Seriously, I want you to think of three things right now that have raisins in them. Now be honest with yourself, all three of those things taste better without the raisins. Luckily, this isn't a dried fruit tier list, and I won't hold the grape accountable for the sins of humanity. Grapes get a B. Grapefruit! While grapes are already a fruit, grapefruit is absolutely not a grape and barely a fruit. I know this may be an unrefined opinion, but as much as I love tanginess, I dislike bitterness. A single bite sends me into a thizz face. And as much as I like my beets nasty, I like my fruit to taste good. Grapefruit are about as bitter as they come, and although everyone who's watching this who's 50 plus is currently shaking, I gotta give it an F. <laughs> This tier list is strictly based on facts, and facts don't care about your feelings. Papaya! They're bad and they should feel bad. D. Apricots! No comment. C. Lemons! Lemons are good. They're one of the best tarts on the market. Lemonade is... Pff, insane. What other single ingredient can you pair with sugar and water and it's ready to go? Lemons are great on salads and seasoning. The older you get, the more likely you are to be able to bite into a lemon and enjoy it. Give it a shot today. Lemons, get an A. Limes! Limes are just green lemons. The Spanish word for lime is limón. The Spanish word for lemon is limón. Ah, pomegranates. Pomegranate is a fruit that confuses me. You open it up and it's kind of like a husk. You pull out all the seeds, you only eat them. They stain everything they touch permanently, uh, but they do taste pretty good. It's not something I'd have every day and it takes a little prep, but it's pretty good. I'll give it a C. Lychee, Woo! Lychee is an outstanding Eastern fruit. It's got such a subtle sweetness that is completely and totally unique. It's also got cute little spikes. Oh, are oh, oh, you gonna poke me? Oh, oh, yes you are. The flesh is white and translucent with a nice juicy snap to it. Common topping in boba milk tea and snow desserts in the form of lychee jelly. It's a great fruit. Great juice, a great topping. Luxury lychee gets an A. Durian. Everything that lychee does right, the durian does very, very wrong. It's quite spiny, but it's not cute and small. It's very large, the size of a medium to large watermelon, and it smells like rotting flesh. As horrifying as that sounds, if you bust one of these bad boys open, you get something just as horrifying. Looks like a mutant banana slug's sinister cocoon. I heard they taste good, but the smell is so important to me, I, I, I gotta give it an F. <laughs> If I can't even bring it into my house to eat it, get the fuck out of here. Get the just, fuck just, out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Pineapple. Another spiny boy? Pineapple gets it right. Pineapple is a phenomenal fruit. Its juice is delicious. I hear it helps with the taste of your... Come to find out it's great for your gut health. A single plant can produce fruit for up to 50 years. They look cool. I got nothing bad to say about them. Pineapples get a solid A. Mangoes. Mangoes are an amazing fruit. It's so perfectly sweet. The nectar is delicious. It's the only fruit in the world that can play Super Smash Bros. Melee at a competitive level. It doubles as a Mexican candy. Put a little tahini on it, pour a little chamoy, add some of the other top tier fruits, and you've got a delicious, refreshing snack that can't be beat. Mangoes get an S. Avocado. Kiwi! Kiwis are just cool. They're fuzzy, and a lot of people report experiencing a fuzzy feeling when they eat them. That's actually not a kiwi thing. That's a mild allergic reaction. <laughs> and it's not only a fruit, 
It's also a bird, which is also fuzzy, which I think is neat. B. Dragon fruit. It looks super cool. The name is super cool, but it tastes like shit. Mid. Peaches, now known as the booty fruit. Peaches are pretty good. They're not great in a can. They're pretty good fresh, solid, middle of the pack. I give them a B. Pears. Pears have always felt to me like apples that just weren't quite sure. They taste good, but like, eh, C. Guava. I've never had one, but they look like discount watermelons and I don't like posers. D. Cranberries. I know I said I don't like bitterness, but I really like cranberry juice. I don't know much about the actual cranberry fruit itself. I bet it's a lot more bitter. The juice is great. I'm inclined to give cranberries a C. Coconuts. Coconuts are really cool. They're just so tropical, you know? Now, I just like coconut water and coconut milk, but anytime I've had coconut shavings on something, it's just been phenomenal. I add it to frozen yogurt. Coconuts are also savages with massive body counts. More people die each year from falling coconuts than shark attacks. So the next time you're in the water with some sharks, calmly look around and make sure you don't see any coconuts. And that's the end of Dave Rank's Fruit. Here are the final rankings. This list is objectively correct. I don't want to hear any bickering. Like and subscribe. And if you're a fruit and I missed you, please head down to the comments for roll call. Thanks for watching.